Hey everyone, JV here. I'm going to be doing a tutorial to walk you through some of the hotkeys, shortcuts you can do to manage within TO Pro. Uh, so without further ado, the first set of hotkeys you can use is Control 1, Control 2, Control 3, and Control 4, and that will navigate uh, your top headings, Control 1 being tournament, Control 2 being events, Control 3 being players, and Control 4 being stations. So real quick, with no mouse, I can hit Control 3 and it will take you into players. Control 4 to go to stations, Control 1 will go back to tournament, and so on and so forth. So you can navigate all these subheadings or headings up top uh, and icons just by hitting Control 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, awesome obviously within, you know, if you're in tournament, you can navigate uh, within this heading, just, you know, hitting tabs, so you can type, you know, JV owns for the tournament, and then you can tab from each of these two to set each of these, and then you can just hit enter to add events, so you can do this all automatically without using your mouse, you can just tab between each of these, fill in the data, and uh, add the event from there. Click add event from there. And, uh, after you do this, and then you can do the same the thing to tab through these. So once you, uh, you tab through, through and add the events, it will be in your entrance, events, which you can you know, hit control 2, excuse me, events, and you can hit control 2 to navigate to that. Um, if you're within an event, you can navigate between the details, the entrance, the bracket, the results, via using control D for details, control E for entrance, control B for brackets, control R for results, and then you can navigate between each of these settings using hotkeys. Um, the brackets itself, and this is probably the most profound one, or the thing that's going to make your run, event run that much more efficient when you're using TO Pro is when you go to the brackets. So we're going to hit you know, control B to go to brackets, and within the brackets, uh, you're going to have to click the first one, but past that you can essentially navigate everything using arrows, and you can select winners to results and do everything uh, via your keyboard. So right here I'm just using the arrow keys to navigate from one to the other, and you can go across the entire bracket this way. Um, if you're within one and you want to set a winner, you're going to hit one twice for the top person, team, player, um, whatever to win, or you're going to hit two twice for the bottom. So let's say the Rangers are playing the Maple Leafs and we want the Maple Leafs to win. Uh, since they're on the bottom, you're going to hit two twice and then it's going to pop up the score and if you wanted to say, you know, adjust it, it automatically populates. Right here we have it on best of three, so it's going to give the Maple Leafs two because we select them on the winner so you can either have the Rangers win one or zero we're gonna have them win one and then we just hit enter and it's gonna input our result um, and then if we want to go to this next one we want the red we'll say the Bruins to win because they're on the top we just hit one twice the Bruins one two zero just hit enter and we'll populate the results uh, and then we can do the same thing via the losers bracket if you wanted to assign a match you can do uh, I twice which will give you the schedule, the station manager, and then if you wanted to do it on, uh, you know, station one, you would just hit enter from there. We will do a modified 60-30-10 payout. Or you would actually have to click the, excuse the station manager is the only thing that you can actually do via hockey. So let's go to the you see we assign that one to station one. We can hit I twice and assign this one to station two. So we're going to see and let's say, okay, these have been going on, and now the savers are one. They're on the bottom, so you can just hit two twice. You can have the cutters win one game, and enter, and then populate the results. So like I said, it's one twice for the top team to win, or top team player, or whatever format you're using, and two twice for the bottom. Um, then you can just input the, the score and hit enter to populate it into the bracket. You can hit I twice to assign a match, and then you can hit C twice to clear a match. Let's say someone comes up to us and says, you know, the score was reported wrong, the Sabres didn't actually beat the Predators 2 once. So you would just, you know, mouse, use your arrow keys to get to that match, you would hit C twice, and it clears the result just like that, and then you can have the Predators win 2-1. So then it would be automatically correct, and you can do this throughout your entire bracket, and that concludes our hotkey videos. Uh, I know I tend to talk a bit fast at times, so we're going to have an entire write-up just in the comment section or a description of the YouTube video if you want to check out the actual hotkeys and the corresponding functions for yourself. I strongly suggest if you use TL a lot to run tournaments or run you know, any type of sizable event, this makes a, a large difference in the way you're going to navigate the program, so I would get in the habit of doing it and you're going to notice a world difference. 
Thanks for checking in. Uh, you can check out topro.com for the actual program itself, as well as some forums and feedback and some more tutorial videos. Rangers and for all you New York people are going to hate me, but I'm going to put you from Boston as well. We're going to do the Predators, and then we'll use that for Nashville, so we'll just do Nashville. And that brings us to seven, so we need one more team. Uh, we'll do the Stars, and they will be from Nashville too. So here you'll see our entire list of the entrance and however many entrants or people you have and you can you know put the real name or the email if you want to log that data to it all save into the TO file TO file so you can reference them later and uh, anytime you click on someone you can adjust their you know their skill or if you got a location wrong and you want to add an email or a name later you can do that all by clicking on their name so let's go back to our event um, entrance here's all the people we inserted and we can just add them all so I'm just gonna select them all and then click add and then here's our event. We have regions or locations put down for each of these guys. We'll see them on opposite sides of the bracket so they cannot play until the winner's finals. And so you go to details and we have all this already inserted and um, dictated. So we're just going to go ahead and create our bracket. So here's what your bracket will look like. Uh, you know, winners goes this way, losers goes this way. We have this set as a best of three and here's your station uh, assignments down here. So let's we're going to assign each of these to the stations, so we're going to say this one's, we're going to schedule it, we're going to put it on station one, we're going to put this one on station two, we're going to put this one on station three, we're going to put this one on station four, and if you were a tournament host, you know, calling off your rounds, you would say, Rangers and Stars to TV number one, Wild and Maple Leafs to TV number two, Bruins and Predators to TV number three, and so on and so forth, and uh, the cool thing about the station manager was actually vlog all the metrics to go along with it. So it'll tell you, you know, when I click back on this one, it, it was scheduled zero minutes ago. So if a match is taking 28 minutes or 30 minutes or, you know, whatever game or format you're playing, if it, it seems like it's dragging on, you, you know, you can send someone over to the check on it or make sure the TV's free, make sure, you know, if the match is finished up that someone reported to you or if they didn't, you need to find them. And it, it just gives you a lot of really cool metrics. And right here at the bottom, you'll see all my TVs are in use. So it lets me know that our tournament's running as efficiently as possible. So we're going to go ahead and go back to some of these we assigned and pick a winner for each of those. We're going to go the Rangers one, the best of 3-2-0. We're going to go the Maple Leafs one, 2-1. One. We're going to go the Predators lost 2-0 and the Red Wings definitely won 2-0. So there you go. So this will fill it out and you're going to continue to populate your bracket like this and you'll be able to see Station 4, 3, 2, 1 are all free now and you can reassign them to whatever station you want. So we're going to assign, you know, station three. And then every time, you know, a match completes, it will mark the station as being free now, and you can advance along your bracket like this. And so we have Rangers one, Cravens one. And you can do all this bracket manipulation via hotkeys. It actually is much more efficient um, than actually clicking. I'm going to go through that in a different tutorial. Uh, it makes a big difference as you become more familiar with the program to be able to hotkey through your entire bracket. And um, it's extremely powerful. I've ran a lot of tournaments in a lot of places, and uh, it's a very, very powerful tool. So uh, we're going to continue to finish this bracket. Rangers, you guys can make a comeback and go to the finals to ultimately lose to the Red Wings. And there you go. So our, our tournament's done. Right here, you'll be able to see the results tab, and it'll populate all the scores. Um, you can copy this to a clipboard. Uh, you can use HTML or bulletin board for formatting. You can do metrics to estimate. You know, right here, it will tell you the bracket started at 1.24 p.m. It ended at 1.26, the actual time of completion, and you know, it estimated, it will estimate based on your rounds and the game and stuff. It's some pretty cool, and you can change, you know, the metrics to suit your event if you're playing something where matches take, you know, 60 minutes or, you know, 90 minutes for an hour and a half or 15 minutes. You can um, adjust that, and then you can, you know, adjust your efficiency value, too, um, based on how... Um, consistent you're going to be with your tournament if you're taking breaks if you're you know running matches non-stop so this is uh, your entire metric calculator here's your results 
Um, there's your station manager players, and here is your entire TL Pro basic tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback or questions, uh, feel free to fill it in our YouTube comment section. We're going to look to continue to improve our tutorials and resources to make sure everyone that uh, has a copy of TO is, is using it to its fullest potential. It, it is the best program out there, so we want to make sure you guys um, are breaking through kind of the barriers of entry and learning the program and really using all the power features. So thank you for tuning in, and uh, thank you for checking out TO Pro.